All right, guys. So I got this warrior. Key's lost. No one knows where it is. So I'm going to show you how to jump start this warrior if you need to ever bypass a key ignition. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'm supposed to show you guys this or not. First of all, I make sure that the E, the emergency cutoff, is off. Then you need two jumpers. I'm just using 12 gauge wire here. First jumper. This is this is your plug that normally goes to your ignition switch up here where your key is. It's in your headlight housing. I unplug the plug, and you want this is the female end. The female end is the end that goes back to the computer. You don't want the male end. The male end, when you look at the end of it, you're seeing all the prongs. You want the female end, when you look at the end of it, you see the receptors. So coming into this, you have two blue yellows and a blue black on one side, and a brown, blue, and a red on the other. So first thing you're going to do is take your jumper and you're going to go between the blue-yellow and the blue-black. So it's one side of the connector. Put it in there. Next, take your other jumper and you're going to go, this one goes between the brown, brown-blue, and the red. Slide it on in there. Now, you can turn the key switch on, or the, the, uh, kill switch and I'll show you here I got lights up here now now you'll notice you didn't hear the fuel pump prime that's because we we just turned it on with the kill switch if you want to hear the fuel pump prime we can what we do is I'll pull out the red black red and brown jumper now when I put it back in that's like turning your key switch on. So I don't recommend for your first time to do that. It'll probably scare the shit out of you, but that's how you can jump it and see what's going on.